Okay, hello. Today I'm going to give you an, an overview of the collaboration tools uh, offered by Viewall 2. So I'll explain to you the way you can use Viewall 2 in a collaboration environment. So first let's go through this diagram. This represents the video wall. This represents the video wall controller. This represents the sources coming into the video wall controller and being displayed in different windows. Sources could be cameras, PCs, media player, TV tuners. Also, we have here another, another type, of, type of PCs that are through the network and that can communicate through the network with the video wall controller. And finally, we have operators controlling all of that and sharing all that information. So in a, in a nutshell, let's say controller A is able to control everything that's on the video wall. He's the one who controls where windows are supposed to be placed. Controller B is a bit more specialized. He works on a speci specialized computer that's in that network. And at any point of time, he can decide to, si to send the content of his uh, desktop to the video wall. Operator C, he's working on his own computer and he can also, through the network, decide to sell to send his computer to the video wall. Okay? Now, any of those operators can have their own mouse and keyboard active on the entire surface of the video wall. So operator, B, uh, operator A could have his mouse active inside the PC of com computer B, if he's allowed to do so, of course. Uh, C could show only a portion of his desktop. That's also an option of UL2, that you don't have to show the entirety of the desktop, but just a portion of it. And all these setups can, of course, be saved in layouts. Uh, 